Hey guys, what's up? Zenis from the world of bodybuilding. Today I want to talk about Patrick Moore because he was one of the dark horses that went into the Mr. Olympia and shocked many people. And he did quite good for his first Mr. Olympia ever. Um, he got 10th place. And if you look at guys that later on became Mr. Olympia, you will see that this is a very, very good placement. He a lot resembles of a young Ronnie Coleman, even the haircut the physique you know the small waist uh, just like the young ronnie coleman before he went through the roof of bodybuilding and destroyed anything and everything he had a great great um conditioning great lines very aesthetic x-frame um great genetics you see that he has amazing genetics even look at this picture i think that he shocked many people because seeing him you saw the very possible future okay and here he is next to ronnie coleman so we know that this guy the the success of him is dependent on the current and future development but look at this this he really looked amazing and it's just a time of development where he can put like i said his um his fight is to put on mass but not too fast not too slow and not without uh, getting the waist too much widened and distended Th that's the thing where a lot of athletes fail when they try to hold on with the top pros and they try to gain as much muscle as soon as possible and nine out of ten times it fails they, their, their conditioning sucks. They're never getting in hard peak shape ever again. Lots of people prove that. And their gut gets distended and they lose their structure, their lines. So I hope and I think that Patrick is not one of those guys. He has even great calves for a dark guy. Okay. L lots of them have problem with calves. Um, he not. He looks amazing. So... I would say that Patrick Moore is one of those guys. Um, he's even from Texas, Houston, Texas, and Ronnie Coleman was from Texas too. So he really, like I said, r resembles me a lot about Ronnie. When I see him, I, like I said, see a young Ronnie Coleman. I hope that he can live up to his hype and his potential. So the Arnold will definitely be interesting. Sergio Olivier Jr. will compete there also. Write in the comments what you what you think. Do you think that checking out on a classic competitor list that he, he can do he can place very well or just as good to place in the top six? Here you have the competitors again. They are great guys there. Of course, I don't think that he will win against the rookie seasoned athlete like Willie Winkler who are already in their peak but i hope he will shock us again positively once again so subscribe to my channel guys look and watch out for this guy i think i don't want to say future mr olympia yet let's see the current developments because whenever we say something like that um sometimes re you regret it because when uh, okay, I I, will, I wanted to quit that video, but what I want to say is when people they talked about Dallas McCarver a lot of uh, as the future Mr. Olympia, and I think that he he wanted the success t way too quick, and we all know what happened afterwards and what the what the side effect of that quick hunt was. So it's a marathon, not a sprint. So I hope that he can live under the pressure without doing so much pressure or too much pressure on his body because he has all the tools bye enjoy your day hope you enjoyed the video subscribe let's get to 3000 videos sorry subscribers till the end of the year we don't have much time left till then and write in the comments your video uh, wishes 
And if you want to have another NASA or somebody with you, write in the comments also. Bye. And Patrick is, I think, 35. There are not much stuff about him out there, even not his age. But he's not the youngest. He has to develop in the next, let's say, three, four years. And then he can peak, let's say, at the end of his 30s, he can peak through his mid-40s. I think that would be a good run for him. Bye.